Okay, we're going to extend our knowledge of creating own shape drawings by today going to a size B drawing, which is a little bit larger than a regular sheet of paper. It's 11 by 14. And also by filling in all the blocks on the title block and by adding what we call a detail view. So those are kind of the three things you want to do. In addition to your normal multi views and your normal dimensioning, we're going to add these aspects to our drawing. So what I have on the screen right now is the part that you're going to download in Assignment 120. You'll have to click on this link, not this link. This link will get you a Fusion 360 file, which you cannot open. This one should download a file that's op that can be opened in Onshape. It's going to download to your Downloads folder. Once that downloads to your Downloads folder, then you will come over to uh, a new, you will create a new document in Onshape, and you will choose Import. After you choose Import, you will go work your way around to find your Downloads folder, click on this downloaded file, and it should open this part here, which is sort of like a chain of hexagonal shapes. It's called a crank arm for a toy. Okay, So once you get the part, you want to then click on the plus sign at the bottom, and you want to create a new drawing. Now I've already started my drawing here because it takes a while for my uh, tape, my uh, drawing background to load here at the school. So I've already loaded my size B drawing template. And remember to insert the multi views. You come up here to insert view, insert. It's going to find the part because it's in the same document, so it's going to find the part, and it's going to allow you then to place the front view in the lower left, the top view above that. Come back and click on the front view again and put in your side view. Click on the front view again and put in your isometric view. Now this is what we've done so far, nothing different. Now we're also going to add a detail view. So if you look up here at the top, there is some icons. We're going to learn later about some of these others like section view, breakout view. But we're going to do the detail view, the circle with the A in it. Click on this. What the detail view allows you to do is to zoom in on an area of detail and make it larger. It's kind of like your magnifying glass. It works like the circle command. I'm going to click on the end here. And I'm going to pull back to make a circle and whatever's in that circle will be exploded and made larger so we can view it better. I click. There's the magnified view of it. I'm just going to drag the detail view somewhere in the white space. Click again and it's going to set up my detail view. Now the detail view has a letter name, detail A, and if you notice the circle has an A on it. In case you have multiple detail views, each one will have its own letter. You're going to go through and do your normal dimensioning with your dimensioning tool, with your width, overall width, overall height, overall depth. You're also going to need to throw in a circle dimension. So under the dimension tool, you want to click diameter dimension. Maybe this one. And then the last thing is you want to fill in all of these little title blocks down here. And all you have to do to get that to work, let's escape out of my dimension command, is hover over the one you want to change till it highlights. It's a little bit offset from your cursor. Double click. Delete what's in there. And then start typing. If you want to make it bold, highlight it and click bold, then click the green check mark. So you will continue filling in as much of these spaces as you can, including a material and a finish.
You can just make up something like plastic and painted. You want to put in some names of who checked it for you and who approved it for you. And again, you can make up famous people's names. Just try to fill in as much of these title block areas as you can because they do become important in engineering design to keep track of who all had a hand in it. So this is sort of your final project for before Christmas is to create a multi-view drawing of this crank arm to include a detail view to be able to fill out your entire title block on a size B drawing. And from there, we will finish up this semester and we'll be moving on to bigger and better things in January. Thank you, guys.